This is another budget padding saga. Buhari submitted a budget of 20 trillion in 2023, and the National Assembly passed 21.8 trillion, Senator Bagudu says. So, meaning that it is in the blood or in the normal practice of Senate to always pad, to always add something to the budget before approving it so they can have their own share. So, budget padding is normal. No wonder they are all dying to remain senators every year because this is where they get their money. Ha! So, Senator Bagudu has spoken again. The Minister of Budget and Economic Planning, Senator Abubakar Bagudu, reacting to Senator Abdul Nengi's claim that the 2024 budget was padded, has alleged that former President Muhammad Ubari submitted a budget of 20 trillion naira to the National Assembly and 1.8 trillion naira was added by the lawmakers. He argued that the lawmakers have the right to increase a budget line and uh, that no law stops them from appropriation. So he highlighted that since the inception of our democracy in 1999, there has been a consistent disparity between the budget proposals uh, put forward by the executive branch and those approved by the National Assembly. Specifically in 2024, this disparity was noted to be a smaller, uh, to be smaller compared to the previous year 2023. The discrepancy was attributed to the suffering or different exchange, uh, different exchange rates, okay, that are used. So why the executive proposed a rate of 750 naira to a dollar, the National Assembly opted for 800 naira to a dollar, thereby generating more naira. Can you imagine? So he said in an interview with TVC, since our democracy started in 1999, the budget proposal submitted by the executive has diverged from what has been passed okay, by the National Assembly. In fact, the 2024 divergence is smaller than that of the 2023 divergence. Former President Muhammad Buhari submitted a budget of 20 trillion in 2023, and the National Assembly passed 21.8 trillion. Additional 1.8 trillion was added. This is where 1.2 trillion naira was additional from what President Aswaji Bola Metilubu submitted. And it was explained because we submitted a proposal with an exchange rate of 750 naira to a dollar, and the National Assembly, in its wisdom, increased the exchange rate to 800 naira, thereby generating more naira. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? So this is what they do. So this is exactly what they do. Yeah, their ministry is in, in adding something the, in their wisdom. So in 2023, they projected the exchange rate to be 750 from the executive, and uh, uh, the National Assembly projected it to be 800 naira to a to a dollar. And today, now in Tinubu's government of less than nine months, it has gone to what about 1,000. 200 or 1,300 now to a dollar, or 1,600 self, 1,600 naira to a dollar. That is over 200 percent of what it was before. This is crazy. I'm telling the truth. This is crazy. So these people. So what uh, Senator Bagudu is trying to tell us now is that uh, it is normal. Okay, so what uh, Ningi is saying is all rubbish because Ningi has been a senator and he has been seeing this thing happening before now. So why is he shouting now? And Ningi probably has been a, benef uh, a beneficiary of this pardon right from time. And they are not calling it pardon. They have lo looked for another economic name or another financial term to classify it. That it is disparity in the exchange rate that is leading to that. And that the Senate or rather the National Assembly has the right to add or remove from a budget. Can you imagine they have the power of appropriation? The law did not bar them from appropriation. So in that in that in their own wisdom, that is the word they use, that in their wisdom, they change the exchange rate and that generated more naira. What 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 this country, eh? You who say they're not intelligent? They are intelligent, but their their intelligence is corrupt. They are wrongly intelligent. The application of intelligence is for their selfish gain not for the interest of Nigerians and this is actually a very bad one I must tell you the truth so what Senator Bagudu 
uh, is trying to tell the world now is that uh, uh, what Senator Abubakar, okay, what Senator Ningi, Abdul Ningi is complaining about is not new. Okay, what, what Ningi is uh, complaining about now is not new. He has been the Senator and has been seeing it. It has happened. In fact, it has happened since 1999. It has been happening. That is what uh, Bubaka Bagudu is trying to tell us here. So the question now is, why are we continuing in this trend? Why can't we run Nigeria in such a way that our budgets will start going, will rather drop rather than going up? Why can't we run the, the economy in such a way that exchange rate will be going down instead of going up? Why can't we run the system in such a way that we'll be generating, we'll be producing more than we are consuming so we can have enough export? Eh? Who, why, why can't we run the system in such a way that we will stop relying completely on oil and harness other potentials in the country like the solid minerals, agriculture, tourism, and several sports activities and several other parts, uh, other, other aspects of the economy that are currently lying fallow? Yeah? And all these old men are just going there, their first interest is how to steal. Yeah? It's their interest first, how to steal. Look at the women from humanitarian affairs that are stealing. Now look at uh, the the head of stakeholders unit of Federal Inland Revenue Service that is now also being accused. Two billion naira fraud is currently being investigated by the EFCC, and we have seen that she transferred some money to her own school, Short Start Limited. Eh? So what? How can we run a system like Nigeria? This, oh my God. Sometimes it, it's like you shouldn't listen to Nigerian news anymore because anytime you listen to Nigerian news, you must hear something that will crack your head. You must hear something that will make you get angry. You must hear something that will raise your BP. You will hear something that will make you wonder whether Nigeria will ever survive. Eh? These people are just there stealing and they no remorse. They look for one term or the other, one political word or the other to... Uh, qualify their 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 actions and then validate it by law. Why why are we running a system like this? I'm just looking at the country. Even when we say military should take over and correct some things, we don't even trust the military because the military have been politicized as well. They have seen so much money, and when they enter now, they all oh, might be the worst. I tell you, the military of those days, they did not they stole badly. And today, it looks like what they stole before was small compared to what politicians are stealing. But again, the politicians of today have also taught the military a good job. If the military enter now, they will also be worse than the, than, the, than the politicians. So the question is, who will help this country, Nigeria, to get better? When will it get better? How will it get better? Everybody in any position is thinking of how to enrich himself or herself first, both men and women. Youths and teenagers and children, everybody is stealing. How? And that's why some people say it's only God that will deliver Nigeria. I told you that's a joke. I tell you, because the country where over 98% of the people are looking for self aggrandizement, self gain, the, that, that kind of country cannot. Even the ones that are talking very well now, like they're very sensible and they're technocrats, when they get there, they will do the worst. All the people that are in power now, when they were not in power, they were talking like sense. Now they are there, they are not, they've turned hyenas or whatever you call them. They have turned hyenas. All right. So thank you for listening. Let's have a comment over this issue of Abu Bakar Bagudu trying to defend what Senate is doing against the complaint coming from Abdul Ningi.